How do you think the leaders of the theatre then, either the board, the management, or the artistic directors, how do they engender that atmosphere within the theatre? They have to respect the artist and how the artist works. And a lot of being an artist is making mistakes. Even the most experienced people, I say Michelangelo didn't do perfect paintings every day of his life. True artist is always exploring, learning by their mistakes and growing. Also this mentorship. Desmond Healy worked with Tanya Mazevich, worked with so many great designers. You mean, he, sorry, you meant Tanya Mazevich mentored Desmond Healy? To, yes, to a certain extent she did. And then, so you had that continuation. Daphne Dare mentored John Benway. You get, and I hope that I have mentored a number of Canadian designers now. Who was your mentor? I didn't really have one. Didn't really have one. And who have you felt that you've been mentoring? Well, I think when it was interesting, in 1981, 82, when there was that great change happened with the festival, um, we, John Hirsch asked me to be head of design in December. There was no season, so the group of us... This, I, if I can just recap for camera, this is when the Gang of Four had been fired yeah. and Hirsch was brought in. And Richard Minette yelled out pigs at the board. And Richard Minette made a very famous statement in front of the board. Yes. And the theatre was in artistic turmoil. <laughs> yes. And I was doing funny thing happening on the way to the forum with John Hirsch at Toronto Arts then, but companies change its name so often. And John came up to me and said, would you be my head of design? Now, I designed hundreds of shows before I'd even sort of got to that point with him. But I didn't feel at that point I was ready to be head of design. I agreed because I was very concerned because the theatre nearly went under at that point. Nearly went under. I was concerned. I loved, I, I admired Robin as we both did and what he'd done for the company and with the company. I'd also enjoyed working with John Hirsch as a director. But remember, and, the, the question is how do the people on top engender that relationship yeah. in the theatre? Yes. Well, unfortunately, at that time, we managed to get the season together in January. We managed to get designers. Everybody involved, the board, because they, I think they understood that they hadn't handled things well with the Gang of Four, were very supportive. However, because I was worried, because I thought they hadn't understood at that time how the theatre worked, I made a point of saying to the board, let me take you round and show you how things work in the theatre. And at that time, the only people that turned up for the tour were people like Don Harron, who was on the board at that time, people who were involved in the theatre. The other people that should have found out how it worked didn't turn up for the tours. I think that says a lot about the relationship between a board. I think the board has to have an understanding of what they're becoming involved in with. And the theatre is not, it is an industry. You do have to run it well, but it cannot be run like a factory. Mm -hmm. because it is an artistic organisation where things have to evolve. You, one board member at one point could not understand why the designers could not go out and buy big bolts of fabric to cut down on costs. You, if you buy it lot, you don't pay as much. Well, this was a complete misunderstanding of how things work yeah. in the theatre. Yeah, well. It's that individual choice of things, that that detailing that is especially at the festival that's so important. So if you have people running a theatre that do not have an understanding, don't know my famous rules, they really can't change things because they don't know what they're changing. What, and more importantly, they don't always know why they're changing it not good enough to say something different. They want something different, something new.